I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Adrian Thomas, for this story. You know, for a long time, we've been talking about all of the border crossings and uh, people noticed a lot of the men were young, military age men, and they were coming across the border. But now you're about to find out this thing is worldwide as far as people coming to that border and crossing. If you think it is South America and that's it, that's the bulk of them, no, not even close. And I did recent videos on how all of these folks from China are coming across the border. You know, it's a lot of illegals in this country. It's not just the brown ones. It, it's many from nations far away from here. But they know about Joe Biden's open border. So, yeah, they're flocking from all over the place. So Iran, China, India, Pakistan, and Turkey, military age men making global run for Biden's open border. Yeah, well, he's got the whole world running here. With migrants now rushing to cross into the United States in case Trump wins in November's election, they're now um, saying that people are pretty much bum rushing the border to get in ahead of the election. And that I can believe because we know what Trump did in his first term in office. And these folks know what's coming if he happens to win this election. I mean, it's not hands down that Trump is going to win. But it's not hands down for Biden either. It can really literally go either way. So they said these are military age men hailing from various parts of the world. Notably, not one of them were from Mexico. When someone went out to interview, none of them were from Mexico. Central America or South America, when they encountered these border crossers, they were not South Americans. If you remember, some of the Ukrainians came in through the Mexico border. They came in that way to this country because you don't need a visa to get into Mexico. That's why so many will go there, like Africans. They will go into Mexico because it does not require a visa. So, they are saying that um, the folks that they are interviewing at the border they are saying they don't know why they came, but several others hid their faces to avoid an interview. Some of them don't want to show their faces when they interview at the border. So a Turkish man said that he paid $10,000 to a cartel and was shocked at how easy it was to cross into the U.S. with no resistance adding that Americans should be worried. Well, the ones that got sense are worried, but the ones that only worried about getting their numbers up, no, they don't care. They don't care what kind of criminals are coming across the border, just as long as they get to raise their numbers up. Because it sure seems that way when it comes down to these big cities where we see these migrants rarely get in trouble for any crime they commit. So American people is right, completely true, the man said. Who comes into this country? They don't know. Okay, I'm good, but how if they're not good? How if killers, psychopaths, else, no guarantee of that? likely no security check, 
no background check. So this is an immigrant. This is one of those um, illegals talking. And he's right. He's right. They'll, they'll let anybody in here. So uh, they tried going through the legal process to enter the U.S., but they were rejected multiple times for visas. So they decided to do it illegally. But you know what? I bet you that's the case with a lot of them. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying all of them tried to do it. That absolutely is not true. Some are just coming illegally because that's all they're going to do is come illegally. But I would not doubt what this person said where they tried multiple times to do it the legal way and kept getting rejected. So the hell with doing it legal. They'll just come illegally then. And that's exactly what they are doing. Border, tr border Patrol here stretch thin. Agents nearby are dealing with another group. Now we've come across another uh, large group popping off on San Diego County today. Yeah, I'm sure there's a continuous amounts of large groups coming all day around the clock. Mm-mm-mm. But you know it's got to be true when either, you know, the illegals are even telling you how easy it is to get into America illegally. That says a lot, you know. And um, I remember a few people, what if they're terrorists? Uh, trust me. I believe those terrorists are already on American soil. And I think some of them have been here for a couple of years, maybe even longer. But I'm not surprised. But this is what Joe Biden has done to this country. You have no clue to who's coming in here. You don't know what kind of background. You don't know if they belong to a terrorist organization or support one. You, you just don't know. And obviously, America don't care to learn who these folks are. You don't even want to vet them. You just want a body to, uh, to count, you know, to make it seem like the population is growing. You know, you're flooding the place with a bunch of illegals. That, I'm sorry, but that does not look like population growth. Yeah, very artificial looking one. That's why it's never going to work. It's not working. But... This is Joe Biden's fault. I'm going to lay it right back in his lap. This is his fault. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.